Hello everyone, my name is Owen Fox and welcome to the video. So I work as a holistic healer and life coach of body, mind, spirit, physical, mental, emotional and a relationship coach and a personal coach or healer too. And my friend today inspired me to make this video. He doesn't even know about it. He's a very good soul family friend called Ulf Hockenes. I'd recommend you befriend him and yeah, so he made a post that yesterday talking about in any relationship when we have like bad feelings with anyone in our life, what we usually do is we instinctively blame them and say it's all all your fault, like you know, it's all your fault. But the thing is every little when you look back and when I look back at my own relationships and also my current relationships now too. Um, but exes, for example, I realized at the time I thought it was, you know, I put too much emphasis and focusing and attribute, attribution, whatever the word is, to them being the ones who are mostly their fault. And I can see there's some logic in this, like I wasn't totally crazy. Yeah, they were doing stuff, but, but I was also doing stuff. And that's my point. So what my friend Ulf said is to look at ourselves and see what we're doing. Because incarnation on earth is about co-creation and experience. They're the two, the two reasons for our life and existence in our life. So we, what we create depends on how much we've expanded. It's our personal development and growth. So if we're unwilling to look where our blind spots are and ask people like, can you see stuff in me that I'm not seeing? or especially just a self-reflection, you know, looking at ourselves, asking ourselves, like, where did I go wrong? Like, where am I going wrong at the moment? How can I improve? These are essential um, questions to ask ourselves. Like, how can I improve? Where am I going wrong? How am I contributing to negative and negativity in this relationships? So what we always do, everyone, and it's the instinctual conditioned mind we always like to think it's all your fault you're doing this to me you're not doing this it's your fault and often they are doing stuff that's not good so except for psychos and narcissists who are like deeply extremely psychologically and emotionally troubled except for these people where we just want to get away from them because they're they're extremely destructive and harmful except for getting away from these people just ordinary people with ordinary people you want to like question yourself and see where you can improve because everyone is a teacher in our life everyone teaches us something they, we, they have a valuable lesson to us they are in our life for a reason there's no one in our life by a mistake everyone comes into our life even for a second I believe for a reason and the biggest soul agreements we have are the people who are in our life the longest or, or else the most impactful even if it's shorter term they change us they awaken something they trigger something they the impulse and expansion within us so what I've learned to do in my life is to actually not only forgive my past because forgiving my past is like for me it's like like almost like is it ridiculous like just being a bit silly here like a bit old school you want to go a level beyond sort of ma making peace with your past you want to make love with your past make appreciation with your past make like oh my god i'm so honored and grateful for you being in my life and having these experiences in my past that is a whole different higher vibration than simply forgiveness like forgiveness is like oh i liked that dinner it was okay it was okay you know, whatever blah 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 but loving and appreciating and cherishing the, the, the dinner and the ingredients is like loving cherishing appreciating and giving thank yous like actually it's, thank you in our heart, in our mind, to the people that have served a purpose in our life. We would not be where we are without our past experiences. So right now, when we have a challenge with someone in our life, that has got to do with us hugely. Like, um, it feels good to us to feel good towards somebody. We gotta live with that. And if we can feel good and live with that, that's beautiful. But if we feel anger and upset and resentment, we are the ones living with that, everyone. That's in our vibrational field. That's, that's, that's within us to live with every single minute of the day. That's a block within us that, that stifles us from our continued expansion of life. But it's not a problem, of course. We just need to like 
learn and let go and expand and heal and step into the vibrations of understanding, love, gratitude, appreciation, um, um, seeing the purpose. And when we see the purpose and the meaning behind people coming into our life, that's when that's when we can move beyond forgiveness and step into a far bigger ball game. So when we view this way, everyone, we can start looking at our own self humbly, okay, almost like innocently like a child and like say, oh, I'm not good at this or, <laughs> you know, it's okay to say I'm not good at something, but we can also expand and get better at stuff too, you know, it's, it's good to be humble and it's good to take ownership and responsibility. When we take accountability for our relationships in our life, that's when we can change it, everyone. When we're playing the victim card and the victim story in our mind, we can't. So what happens, and I see this, and I've seen it, and I've lived it, and I've been there, and I know, I know it all, what I'm talking about from personal experience, and I see it all around me. When we, create, when we keep thinking a story in our head, this creates our reality. So what we can do in our life is reframe the story we tell ourselves about somebody or our relationship right now with somebody in our life. So, I'll give you an example, just to make it practical and understandable, okay? Okay, let's say I have an issue with someone, and we tell the story, uh, we talk about it to other people, we think about it, uh, they're just being unfair, like, they're just, they're unconscious, they're negative, like, they just, they don't know what's going on, like, they just treat me badly, and they've been doing it for years. <laughs> <laughs> don't you love this story it's so good and I'm laughing because I can see the, they can see what the, the madness of it the effect the hooliganism okay let's switch the story usually that story is going to make you miserable and you're going to be sad in life so here's another way you can reframe it okay because the more conscious we become the more we can reframe the stories that we tell ourselves about ourselves and about our life so here's a story a reframing story Okay, they are conscious and unconscious. They know stuff and they don't know stuff, just like me. I'm the same as them. I have my moments of being triggered and they have their moments of being triggered. Sometimes I start it, maybe sometimes, or maybe more often they start it. But the, the more important thing is how I react and respond, even if they start it. I know I'm not perfect and I don't always bring positive energy to the table either in relationships and they find this a struggle and hard too. My energy when it's off affects their energy and it helps them to become more off and that's when we talk and we have arguments. If their energy is off it helps me become more off but I can learn how to think and tell stories and reframe and connect in my heart and see things in a, in a way where their offness doesn't affect my offness as much or at all. I know that I can work on seeing things through the eyes of Source in connection with my higher inner aligned state in which when they're off, I can still be on. I can still be tapped on, tuned in, turned on. Like Abraham would say, okay? So I have the ultimate power within me. I am the sun. They can't knock off my light bulb just because they have a little bit of cloudiness. I can still shine forth and feel the good feelings of being the sunlight, the divine light that I am. So that's the truth of the matter. So I have the power within me to think the best, remember the best, and speak the best, and imagine the best of the future about anybody or anything in my life. And this has the power to keep me connected and to reconnect when I disconnect. So reconnecting is my God-given, my source ability through the power of my mind and my intentions, my visualization and imagination, and my remembering and my memory and my current mental thinking and focusing right now. Because what you think about, you bring about. What you focus on expands. You, what you think, you become. So every second I have the power to think something that I decide to choose to think instead of my past traumas thinking for me. So this is the power to recreate and forge your relationships. When I get in this state of connection, that's when I have inspired thoughts coming to me. I, I am a receiver of divine, higher, purposeful, powerful energy. And this energy inspires and creates worlds. It really does. This gives birth to new life and new creations, new thoughts, new words, new, new, new experiences, new inspired action, new behavioral patterns, new hobbies, new 
new reactions, new responses, new ways of dealing with people. So what happens from this state of getting my thinking straight, getting my alignment connected, is I now know what to say to people. It becomes easier, and I promise you, it will become easier too. You will become much easier. You will know what to say, and you'll do it much more in a sense of peace, regardless of what other people are doing, or if they have their light switched on, or if they're connected to the source that they are not. So this is when you get to heal yourself, and heal relationships, and make and create really exciting, fun, more peaceful, harmonious relationships. And you get to teach people like through your own energy and inspiration and example uh, how to treat you, but it's not an effort anymore. That's the whole thing. When you're disconnected from your life, it becomes effortsome and burdensome and it becomes a struggle. But when you get yourself sorted out and you look after yourself and you take some time to yourself, don't talk about, don't try and solve your life when you're feeling tired and down in the dumps. Get your thinking straight, look after yourself. Then you're going to be aligned, and when you're in aligned, the answers will come to you, and it won't be a struggle, and the words won't be a struggle either. So that's that's simple as that. So this is like deeply powerful, meaningful, like empowering words. So this is like life changing. <laughs> yeah. So Owen um, Craig Cox says, own your power and believe in its ability and how to use it, and you will reap the beautiful gifts of life and your and your mind. Yeah, I love you all and you're an amazing spirit. Thanks, Craig. I love you too. You're a kick-ass spirit too. Totally hear you. Thanks. <laughs> Jordan says, I love it, man. I share this. Thank you all. And energy everywhere. Yeah, so it all comes from energy. And after the energy and the feelings in your heart and the, and the thoughts, then comes the words and the actions. So that's simple as that, everyone. So I hope this video helped. We've talked a lot in this video. If you, if you, so, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed it. And if anyone wants to want to want personal work with me please do it i'm available and i'm excited and i'm passionate about working with people and groups and relationships online and offline and i love it and thank you for giving me this opportunity thanks facebook thanks internet thanks beautiful viewers watchers friends family <laughs> someone says i should write a book yeah i've written two books but i have a new new one coming it's like you can see it on the website ownfox.org Anyway, everyone, lots of love to you. Thanks, Jordan, for that little, like, additional. I'm, I'm going to write a new book, and it's going to be my new book, all of this and so much more, and I'm, gonna, I'm really deeply excited about it. I'm going to do it, and it's probably going to happen next year for sure, no doubt. Hope this helped, everyone. Did it help? Let me know if this helped, and uh, tell a good story to me and to your mind. See ya. Have a nice day, everyone. It's a beautiful day. It's always a beautiful day.